What's good, YouTube? What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Straight Rebel, coming back at you with another reaction video. Hope everybody had a good weekend. Man, it went by pretty good. Got a good lot of sleep. Hope everybody got a lot of sleep, too, as well. Hopefully, next week is not as crazy as this week. and goes by quickly as two, as well. But we're going to get into these reaction videos we got. We got how a drug dealer's worst fear came true. <laughs> That's a really good one. Y'all subscribe, like the video, comment at the end. Let me know what your thoughts are. And we're going to get straight into this, y'all. In June 2023, police received several tips concerning the illicit sale of drugs in the area of Coon Valley, Wisconsin. Based Ooh, on information man. obtained from Is a reliable cool source, cool? in June 2023, police received several tips concerning the illicit sale of drugs in the area of Coon Valley, Wisconsin. Cool. Based on information wow. obtained from a reliable source, 33-year-old Stanley Holt and 39-year-old Julia Lloyd were allegedly involved with trafficking significant amounts of methamphetamine and fentanyl throughout La Crosse, Vernon, and Monroe counties in Wisconsin, as well as in Houston County. County in Minnesota. Additionally, there were reports suggesting that Julia was expecting to receive a large amount of fentanyl in the mail. Following this, deputies and investigators from various law enforcement agencies were called upon to aid the La Crosse Police Department in executing a search warrant at the suspect's Four residence different. in Coon Valley, Wisconsin. For safety concerns and to prevent evidence tampering, police opted to contact Stanley and Julia away from their residence before conducting the search warrant. Stanley has a history of evading law enforcement, resisting arrest, and violent confrontations <laughs> with officers. Yeah. Furthermore, he was on probation for offenses, including oh, wow. possession with intent to distribute amphetamine, <laughs> resisting arrest resulting in officer Dang. injury, and armed burglary. He was also released from prison in early 2022 after serving time for drug charges. On June 12th, during surveillance, an invest. See what I say? He will be going to jail and they be getting out. And they be in jail for so long. Or they just ain't got no other skills. Which is even more sad. Because it's like, bro, you can, you can take up skills trying to learn some stuff in jail and stuff like that. That's if you want to. But like I said, people getting out and they and they ain't got no they ain't got no skills, they ain't got like they ain't got no want, you know, to do better for themselves. But they go right back out there in the streets and they go right back to doing what they know they had to know how to do. But not being smart about it. You can you get drugs mailed to your home, to your place of residence where you live, please. Investigator observes Stanley leave his residence and follow another vehicle to a village park, where a male from the other vehicle entered Stanley's before leaving. Later, a deputy noticed Stanley and the unidentified male parked on a roadside, likely engaging in a drug deal. When the deputy approached, they quickly got back into the car. Hey, I'm off with the vehicle here, ATM 4222 on the lane. A traffic stop was then initiated why? during which Stanley. Why are you doing a deal or why are you doing anything on a road that damn small where no cars can get on the other side? And then y'all both standing outside of the vehicle. This is why I say, like, especially if you if you do this type of stuff. Like, and that's the, and that's the sad thing about it. If you do this type of stuff, it's like you can't live a squeaky clean life. Like you always got a low key look over your shoulder. Because if you know you're doing something bad, you know you're doing something that the cops can, like, you know, the cop, you can get busted by the cops, or you know, something that can lead up to you getting busted by the cops. You gotta, like, literally be looking over your shoulder, like, 24 7 in a way, like, dead ass, like, all the time, because, because you got a record, and every time they see you, they see you, they see you around the area. They go mess with you each and every time they will mess with you each and every time because you are somewhere where you shouldn't belong and is you are somewhere where they know stuff is popping off at. And a lot of times they probably just know who you are, know how you get down, which is even real worse. You don't want the cops knowing you. <laughs> he pulled into a random driveway. 
As the deputy approached Stanley's vehicle, he claimed he was having car problems. Oh, your car's acting up. It looks like a nice car. Uh, all right. Gotcha. Cool. All right. That's a cool car. It's got some electric problems. You guys live up here somewhere? I live right here. Oh, okay. My dad owns it. Oh, okay. Perfect. I actually oh, need to talk okay. to you about something about some dogs. Can you come back here and talk with me real quick? Dogs? Yeah. Yep. Just come back here and talk with me quick. You know, I'm going to be able to that party here. You guys got some pit bulls? We have, I got one. He's got like tumors all over him. He's Your old. pit bull does? Yeah. Okay. He's, he's old. He's 14. Gotcha. Okay. He, 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 he has these, uh, <laughs> Yeah, actually, here, Stan. He has these, here. Um, I, I need you to turn around, put your hands behind your back for a second, okay? Yep. Huh? Yep. You're being really cool, but I just need to chat. We just need to detain you for a second here, okay? Why? Because I told you to. Turn around behind for your. What? We have some stuff we need to talk with you about, okay? Huh? What are you talking? Stanley, about? turn around and put Who your hands behind that? your back. Who is that? Stanley, I'm not gonna keep telling you. Turn around, and put what your hands you behind your back. What are you talking about? Stanley, stop. Stanley, turn around and put your hands behind your back. Do it doing? now. Stanley, stop or I'm gonna tase you. Taser, taser, taser. Okay. Okay. He's okay. really okay. faster okay. than that. Them behind your back. Okay. Behind your back. You're okay. going to get it again. Okay. Behind okay. your back. Bring your hands behind your back. back. Do it okay. now. Behind your back, Stanley. Get the guy in the other car. Okay. 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 Then put your hand behind you your back. You you put your me. hand behind your back. Stop, Stop trying to fight, Stanley. It's not here. <sighs> Due to his continued resistance, an additional 50,000 volts were kindly provided. Hey, I can't breathe. Put your hands behind your back. Put it behind your back. I can't breathe. Put it behind your back. Taser, oh taser, taser. Oh, Put your hands behind your back. Get Put your hands behind your back. Okay, okay. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Stop oh. fighting, Stan. This is not going to help I'm gonna you. Run. I'm going to cycle it again if you don't put oh. your hands behind your back. Quit being stupid. Please don't. Hold on. Please. Hold on. Oh. I can't. Stop. Oh. 15 log guy. Uh, I'm good. Two taser deployments in. Uh, one I'm two. not doing nothing. Hey. Can you please? Ouch. Don't move. Stop okay, moving. Hey guys. Stanley. Let me breathe. Okay. Then stop trying to pull away from us. I'm not. I'm cool. Come on. I'm f***ing handcuffed. I'm not going anywhere, dude. That's close. That'd be really that that looking at looking at this right here and looking at like this angle and stuff like that. And when you see the cops be on top of people, and then they be like, "Don't move, don't move." Like you got me in handcuffs. You got me in handcuffs. You got me on my chest. You got, like, you got, like, there's no way I can get away. Like, you all could stand up and you all could look at me. And if I try to get away, I will look like a worm or a fish out of, uh, uh, like, a fish out of water trying to get up. So why, so, so why is it so much of a concern if I'm trying to do this, but, n but nothing's working? I, I be feeling like cops, I be feeling like nine times, like, cops literally just want to control the situation to their fullest extent, even when they know like you're not a threat, they just want to bark out orders. It like you, he's literally laying on his chest, on his stomach, and if he moves, then I'm like, stop moving, stop moving. He has handcuffs on. What is what? What is he gonna do? Where is he gonna go? Like, come on, man. Can we remove this probe from your side? What? Can we yeah. Pull yeah. Probe out? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Figured you wouldn't I care, but we like to ask. I didn't know what was still in there. Right. Here, help me out. Just hold on, buddy. Sit, Just sit up. Sit on your butt. I can't yeah, breathe. Right there. Right, right look at this. You see how much, you see what they got to do just to get him up? The second male occupant was also taken out of the vehicle and arrested. May I have you come back and sit on this seat here? Why'd you try to run? Why were you running for this? Running. Jogging. He's just all of a sudden wants to freaking. Want to retain you? You were getting a little sketched out, Stan. Huh? I can tell you were getting a little sketched out. Dogs. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah, we're just gonna sit here for right now, okay? Can I smoke my cigarette? Uh, not right now. What? Maybe you're a cooperative, Stan. Right? <laughs> I was. I was talking to him. And then he told me to put my hands behind my back for no reason. Stan, I'm just gonna look at you. Make sure there's no other probes in anywhere. Okay? You feel any anywhere? 
You got anything in your pockets that we need to know about, Stan? Oh. I'm gonna just double lock these, check these, and make sure they're double locked so they don't get tightened up. But like I said, okay? if you know you did Here, something give me a wrong, second. I'll try to loosen it just a teeny little bit. And the, and the cops still, catch you don't up with you. To do anything. Even if they don't tell you what it is, you still should just comply with them. You, and especially if you know you did something wrong, like you, know you did something like wrong. You're gonna find all about it in a second. Or something like that, and it can catch up to you. Just give it up, bro. Because they met down in the park. Yep. Hopped into his car and took a ride. Sitting at the stop sign, pulling in, and I'm trying to look down. The lead investigator on this case is not here right now. Okay. So it's gonna be just a little bit. Okay. You got some in the car? I didn't know they were up there already. Yeah. Well, I just found that out. I'm not gonna run. We gotta see. Okay, let's. Well, you already did it once. It is really tight. Well, we can maybe try to adjust them in a minute, but you haven't made this easier for yourself. This could have been real calm, real chill. What? Here, actually, I don't understand. why don't we just use this car here? Yep. I'm just gonna search. Yep. Yeah, that's why. I, that's why I told you you were just being detained. Stan, I'm gonna check your pockets here quick, okay? Okay. Go ahead. A search was conducted on Stanley, and a large roll of cash totaling more than twenty-five hundred dollars was yeah. discovered. Because you're gonna go in the back of my car. I got quite a bit of cash here. I don't really want that. You got like a bag or something? You got a bag or something I can put in the uh, front? I'll, yeah, we'll grab one. I just don't want your stuff, your money to blow away here. Probably won't be very happy if that happens. I know you're being calm right now, but just give yeah, us a second. I'm not. That's something we can maybe talk here. I don't have a lighter for you right now, okay? Yeah. When we finish searching your stuff and we'll pockets and once yeah. we find a lighter, maybe we can let you have one. Yeah. You got any weapons or anything anywhere? No, no weapons, man. How about in the car? No. Okay. I appreciate that, but you did once already, so now you know we gotta like Make sure it doesn't happen. Yeah. You don't want to get tased again, right? Dude, that hurts. I imagine. Yep, I'm just checking your pockets. Why did he tap him on the chest like that? He's trying to be cool. Okay. Like, yeah, it happened that, before, you know. You did once already, so now you know we gotta, like, make sure it doesn't happen again. Yeah. Right? You don't want to get tased again, right? Dude, that Imagine. Yep, I'm just checking your pockets here because you're gonna go in the back of my car and I don't want anything back there that shouldn't be there. And or any weapons or guns didn't, or anything like that. You guys didn't read me any rights. You're not being arrested. Well, at least you weren't before. You're just being detained. Yeah. Detained, yep. So that means we were gonna hang out a little bit and I was gonna place you in handcuffs for both of our seats. I hate that detained. Until somebody who needs to talk to you could get like, here. Just tell me you if I'm you, you got some on me, you got some on me. Right. Well, Sorry if I forget. Let me try to get you to talk your way to get arrested. Though, is there anything behind this belt buckle at all? No. What? Can you take it off? We just got here. No, we aren't going to let them fall out. We just don't want to miss anything. So, you're asking me about the belt buckle. Mm-hmm. What's that? You got a couple of shirts on there. You got. Before we go in the car, I'd like you to humor me and just kick your shoes off for me real quick. We'll let you put them back on. I just want to make sure there's nothing in there. I've had, a, I've had a couple of bad experiences with that, so. Yeah, we're just checking. So all you guys showed up for what? To talk to her. Let's put your foot in there. I, I promise it's gonna all be explained to you here shortly, okay? You just gotta, just kinda bear with us, all right? Everything takes a little time. We're gonna take a walk over here real quick and just have a seat in the back of my car for a minute. You put me in handcuffs. What side do you want? Let's go on the passenger side. I can detain somebody if I have a reason. And I did. The reason, sir. We can talk about it. Just right. have a seat for me right now, okay? You guys really ain't gonna let me smoke a cigarette? Please. I never said that. If you, not right I'm this time. If you keep being really cool and cooperative, I'll go see where your cigarettes went, okay? And then we'll talk, we'll see about it in a little bit. But right now, I'd like you to sit in my car for me, okay? I mean, it's super cool. I, know you I tell you what, if you sit there, yeah. we'll light up a cigarette and you can smoke it and you can sit with your feet out of the car and just sit on the seat there. Will that work for you? I promise. I promise. Go ahead and sit down for me. But well, obviously, we're not taking the cuffs off. Yep, yeah, yeah the cuffs right. have to stay on. But if you sit down, yeah. Yeah. I don't want you to drag. fall over. Okay. Just yeah. sit right there. Camera out there. You have a lighter in there too? Yeah, I saw one. Otherwise, I got one in my car. But you do have to sit down for me, all right? That's part of the deal. A canine unit was then deployed on his vehicle, resulting in a positive alert. A little excitement you didn't probably expect today, huh? <laughs> I don't know how long you guys will be. We'll you get, might have to leave here. Yeah, we're right. We have a tow truck coming, so we'll get it out of here okay. as soon as we can. Yeah. And then we can move our cars. I mean, we can get around it here. Yeah. Whatever you need us to move, let us know. We can move it. No, that's fine. Just, just let her know what's going on. Okay. Here, I got one in my car. Here, I'll grab one out of the front here, quick. Yeah, they just ended up pulling in here, so yeah. we didn't okay. expect them to come here. <laughs> yeah. right. Logan Paul looking at us. Good, Bobby. Maybe Matt, how? You got it. Matt's just better at lighting up smokes than I am. 
Yeah. Yep. We're just gonna hang out and we're not gonna have any more problems. When you when you told me to, you gotta understand, I've been arrested a few times and okay. it's like some PTSD. A little PTSD. So they get them under, you take off running. I don't know. When, when, I, when we crashed the hill, Rich and I, they were on the ground fighting the two Vernon guys and the target. And uh, I ran over there and he was on his stomach, but he wasn't giving his hands. So I gave him a couple of warnings, taser warnings, didn't do it. So I got him right in the back and then he complied. But they, uh, he had already been tased once too. So I don't know if the, the second probe wasn't uh, in him on that first taser. And he's on his way down to the house. So who wants to go over there go with somebody to stay? Is that been searched? No. Yeah. Search it. I got a toll on the way. I'll go with you guys to meet Andy at the house. All right. You guys take that. Yep. I'll stay here and take a good day. So why didn't you come to my house and tell me? How would that have worked out? Mm -hmm. If you would have knocked on the door, I don't think you would have probably answered the door, would you? Yeah. Seems to be how it usually works. I don't know. It's not my case. I'm yeah. just saying that. That'd be my first thought. Okay. Let's just sit down for me, all right? That's part of the deal, remember? I'm not going anywhere. Okay, just have a seat for me. I don't think they would get any tighter. Yeah, they're, they're supposed to be tight. They're not really made for comfort. So who is it that's coming to talk to you? It's an investigator with the La Crosse Police Department. Well, what's he want? That's what he's going to talk to you about, so I'm not going to, you know, go into right. his stuff. I don't I don't have the full story. Actually, I don't know that much of it, so it's going to be just stuff he needs to talk to you about. I think it'll all make sense to you eventually. I see. What was so hard about saying that? That the investigator was going to come talk to you? So would that, yeah. made any, have, would that have made any difference? Yeah, I mean, I mean, at least tell a guy what's going on, not just... Yeah. If you want to go ahead and hop all the way in for me, okay? I guess he wants to talk to you at the sheriff's department, so that's what we're going to do, okay? We, we need to get going, I'm sorry. I let you have one, which is more than most officers would do, especially after you just ran from them and made you tase you. So, um, but anyway, I need, you, <laughs> exactly. I need you to put your feet in the car. So Unfortunately, you got okay? that. Do you need a hand? Pretty sure they let you smoke one at the, at the center station. Okay, get in the car, Stanley. You really can't. Scoot all the way in, Stan. Just swing your feet around in front of you here, okay? I can't feel my hand. Okay, they're, they're fine, Stan. I already checked them. The, the quicker you get in the car, the quicker we can get to the sheriff's department and then we can get them. We can just take them right off you, yeah, okay? Put your back up against the seat here like how you would normally sit. I know it's a little tight, but I'm pretty sure you can get your butt over, your back over. Take them right off you, yeah, okay? Put your back up against the seat here like how you would normally sit. I know it's a little tight, but I'm pretty sure you can get your butt over, your back over against the back of the seat there, okay? And I do need you to do that right now. You know what I mean. Just slide that way. Try to get your back up against the back of the seat there for me. The search revealed a substantial quantity of meth and an unknown substance, potentially meth or fentanyl. Due to indications of potential drug influence, right, he was transported to a hospital for a blood draw. So, why don't you go ahead and have a seat back in there again for me, and we're going to head right to the hospital, okay? All right, so I'm going to get head over to the hospital here. Law enforcement then rolled up to Stanley's residence and executed the search warrant. Julia oh. answered the door and was subsequently arrested. Upon searching and tearing the living shit out of the residence, officers discovered multiple plastic bags containing illegal drugs and drug paraphernalia scattered throughout. More than three pounds of meth were seized, alongside with other substances, including heroin, fentanyl, and cocaine. Additionally, numerous empty bags commonly used for drug distribution were found, along with cash totaling over $49,000. Julia consented to investigators... Yeah, I just... I mean... I get it. Like, there ain't no way you can really put... I mean, you can put that money in the bank, but it's like... Man, like... <laughs> I just sent on 50 racks like that. Yeah, I sent on all that stuff just... I think they, I think they, they got too comfortable because they sitting, in the, they look like they living in the middle of nowhere, a nice big old crib, crazy enough. Accessing her phone, revealing text messages related to drug transactions. Furthermore, a canine unit alerted officers to a vehicle Another parked outside dog. the residence, where a search uncovered a one-pound package wrapped in black electrical tape suspected of containing methamphetamine. Oh. Julia was eventually taken into an interview room at the sheriff's office. However, she exercised her right to remain silent. As you see. Stanley was charged with felony counts of possession with intent, meth, fentanyl, maintaining a drug trafficking place. 
misdemeanor counts of resisting obstructing an officer, possession of drug paraphernalia, and operating with a restricted controlled substance. Second offense, all repeated charges. <laughs> Julia was charged with felony counts of possession with intent, meth, fentanyl, maintaining a drug trafficking place, and misdemeanor possession of drug paraphernalia. All repeated charges too. Subsequently, both were each given a $500,000 cash bond and eventually indicted on federal drug charges, ultimately being found guilty. The third male who was with Stanley during his arrest was released on a $2,000 signature bond with conditions. As of April 2024, Stanley received a federal prison sentence of 11 and a half years to be followed by five years of supervised release. Julia, on the other hand, was sentenced to six and a half years in federal prison, also to be followed by five years of supervised release. Wanna That's not bad. I mean, it could have been a whole lot worse. I mean, don't get me wrong, 11 years, 11 and a half years, 12 years, 12 years of your life. In, in jail is, is is bad enough six and a half seven years is bad enough but i mean it could have been way more and i'm surprised in, i'm surprised that i thought when y'all get i thought when people get caught up on felony charges like i thought the charges go way higher i thought they'd be like and you get more time and stuff like that but i guess it just all depends on what it is i guess though too at the same time so that's probably why i only got so much but hey, at least he had a ride or die she didn't want to talk and, and do, or anything like that she just took it because because she was going to get charged with that regardless. She was in the same house with a bit of drugs and all that stuff, the cash and all that stuff was found. So, like, you might well just take that L. You might well just take that charge. And you sit there and you cry about it and you try to explain this. So, none of that stuff works at the end of the day, literally. Like, none of it works because you're found there with the stuff. They're going to just be like, oh, this is, this is your stuff because you're here and you're living, you're living comfortably with it. Or, you're, you know, you're living with this person that you know does this. So, you know, that's what they take it as. Y'all let me know y'all thoughts in the comments about what y'all thought about this video and maybe what they could have did different instead of having all instead of having 50 racks on them in one crib and having multiple, you know, things of drugs just sit around around the crib and stuff like that. What else they probably could have did? Shit, they probably could have buried they probably man. <laughs> I ain't never heard of nobody, but they probably could have buried their drugs in the back. They probably could have dug some holes and, and, and hid that shit in the back. I've never really, I've never really heard of uh, dogs doing uh, patrols on holes or people's yards and sniffing around stuff like that. So, never know. Y'all, let me know your thoughts, comments, and subscribe to the page. Appreciate all y'all that's subscribing. Do them comments. Hit me with them likes. Appreciate y'all. I'll catch you in the next one.